A S. Adult Swim! <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel! If you're new here, my name is Medita and I am one of the most organized people on this planet. I never procrastinate doing anything. I'm super organized, okay? And that's exactly why I will today be cleaning up my messy bookshelf that I turned into an AS almost two months ago because I totally do not procrastinate cleaning. There's too much going on in my room right now, so we have to clean it. I also wrote down a plan because I'm that hashtag fucking organized, where I said which vibe goes onto which shelf because I organize my bookshelves by vibes because it's all about the vibes, bro. We obviously have this bookshelf to clean. There's a lot going on, but then we also have this one, which is not doing well. And then we have books on the floor. We also, for some reason, have Lego bricks on the floor and some yarn. We're not gonna talk about it. Then when you drift over here, you see this. And this is like the worst part, I think, of it all. Oh my, I should have done this months ago. Good job. Let's go. I don't wanna do this. This is, this is gonna take forever. Why? Gosh, stop falling over. <sighs> Yo, the way I'm already sweating is not even funny anymore. It's literally about to freaking drive me crazy. Oh, I want to separate rom-com between rom-com with smut versus rom-com without smut. Like, smutty, not smutty. Ooh. Sports romances, I'm gonna put here. Okay, but I feel like I should also put authors together and have a lot of books off, right? That doesn't really... Okay, I'll see how I do that. Let me get my notebook and just see what categories I wanted to organize them in. So, the method I'm using is not helping me. I'm not getting anything down, as you can tell. We're changing my method now. And we're just putting stacks on the floor. Ooh, hoo -hoo, these are heavy. I don't know what I would consider all of these. And I'm just gonna put the books I want in each shelf on there. So, we're putting rom coms here, rom coms there. And then we need probably a third one. So, more rom coms here. Hashtag fake scenario time. Okay, here's how it is. You work at a public library and it's the end of the day and everybody is leaving the library so you have to start cleaning up with your little book card. So you put all the books back on the shelf. You're organizing just like I am right now. But suddenly you bump into somebody and your cart falls over and you're super mad. You're like, what the fuck is this? I'm not that blind. I didn't just walk into a wall and there's this man and you're like, oh my God, he looks kind of cute. And he's like, oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. And you're like, uh, excuse me, why didn't you just see me there? And he's like, oh, I'm just so invested in this book. It turns out he's reading your favorite book and you're like, oh, Oh my god, we have the same taste in books. You're like, oh my god, this is so cute. Like, whatever, he's hot and he likes the books I like. Uh, 10 out of 10, man, right? And he's like, well, at least let me help you because I pushed over the cart. And you're like, ah, fine, whatever. So he helps you put all the books back on the shelf. While you're doing this, you guys talk. You guys get to know each other. He goes to uni, you go to uni. You guys have similar hobbies. You guys have a similar taste in books. You think, this is kind of cute. We have slightly, like, a bit of tension between us. Maybe something could happen here. He all of a sudden gives you his phone number. You're like, uh, what the hell? He's like, well, if you ever want help anymore at night, I'd love to help you. I thought this was really fun. I kind of like talking to you. And you're like, oh my god, blushing. This is so cute. Ah! You obviously call him then, okay? And you guys do this like, weekly. You guys meet up to organize books on the bookshelf. And tension grows and grows and grows. Sometimes your hands touch just a little bit. Or maybe your thighs. Something. You hold eye contact a little longer. He smiles. You smile. You both start blushing. It's a bit tension. He brushes hair out of your face. You know, all those little things. And then one evening, you fall over because of the book cart falls over again. And you kind of get trapped with the book cart. So he helps you. But when you stand back up, you're really close to each other. And then... Boom, kissing, tension, love. Oopsies. <coughs> School. Uh oh. Sorry. Ow! Ow! <sighs> okay. Rum counts. Let's pick him up from the floor and put them, whoa, on the shelf. I'm literally gonna cry. This is very, very, very much hot, hot, hot. Gosh, I have too many books. Let me look at this shelf because I... Ah! Mm, mm, mm. Okay, maybe I should start with the dystopian and fantasy things over here. Should I do that? Yay! I'm just gonna separate dystopian, fantasy, 
fantasy adult, dystopian adult, sci-fi, and then if there's YA romance in here, I'm gonna also separate it. Oops, like vampires? Rawr. That's a werewolf. Uh, wrong mythical creature. Sorry. Oh god, this is gonna be loud. That was a deep sound. Whoa. These are so heavy. Oh no! I dropped them all. That is so sad. Remember how I said I thought this was gonna be a lot easier than the last time? I take it all back. <gasps> I just almost fell. Okay, I got it. That was scary. I have no energy. I'm gonna get some food in a second. Okay, okay. Did it. What the hell? This is. Oh my god, I actually have so many issues. It's not even funny anymore. Why did I ever decide to do this trend? Why did I ever do that? It's such a dumb idea. I love how a third of this is just shattering. It makes a lot of sense. So I decided to just uh, go ahead and do fantasy first because it's already easier than the other stuff. Up here we have angels and vampires. Maybe that's a word combination, but I feel like they work together. Here we have fantasy that I think fits together. Vibe-wise, oops, currently dying on the inside and sweating aggressively. So I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. Like nothing is working. Oh my God, I'm about to scream. Don't give up, because why would you give up when you can win? Yeah. Let me get the fantasy out of the way real quick. Oh my, okay. One, two, three. Slay! I think I'm gonna start with my rom-com books. So we're gonna have, up here we're gonna have Coho. We're gonna have women's fiction and then rom-com, rom-com. I think that makes a lot of sense. Oh my gosh. It scares me every time. Watching me. Stop. Ooh. Oh, I can't sing. Cut that out, Medita. Ah, nor. Yeah, guys, I think I'm done. This is like how I'm gonna leave my shelf from now on because I really don't know what to do. I'm gonna give up. I'm just kidding. My jokes aren't funny, so I need to stop doing that. I don't know if anyone else is like this too, but I prefer kissing and like cuddle scenes in books over smutty scenes. I don't know if that's just me, but I love to read about the stuff that's like, oh, we laid next to each other in bed and his arm like went over my waist and then he hugged me close to him. I like ran with my hand through his hair and we cuddled, we stared into each other's eyes and smiled. I prefer that over his throbbing member penetrated me like i'm sorry i <laughs> that was a bit aggressive i'm sorry i prefer the cute kisses on the forehead the cuddling the hugging from behind and saying hi love how are you the neck kisses when you're doing something together the dancing oh my god the dancing in books is so good the him holding you around your waist and then him tightening his grip on your waist and pulling you closer the secret smiles and eye contact you give each other the brushing hair out of your face, or maybe if there's some dirt on your cheek, doing stuff like that. The hand holding in public, and then one of you wants to let go, but then the other one grabs the hand again and like holds it closer and tighter. And it's like, no, like I want to hold hands with you in public. And you're like, oh my god, I think I'm about to cry because this is so sweet. This is what I want, okay? Uh, that, I prefer these scenes so much. They make me giggle and cry and laugh and um, actually just hate my own life because I don't have this in real life. And I'm trying to forget that I don't have this in real life, but I just prefer those scenes. Also, like, just a little love confession and first kiss. It's like, first kiss in book. <gasps> Why are they so much like fireworks exploding on New Year's Eve? Why are they so explosive and colorful and pretty? I don't know, my head, that makes, like, no sense, but whatever. I want those scenes, period, blank, end of story. Okay, guys, I didn't film for a while because I had to really concentrate, but I got a bit further, honestly, so let me show you. We have a lot more rom-com than I thought, of, so I think I'm gonna have to move everything down one so I could put here another um, rom-com shelf. So we're working now on the fantasy dystopian side so I could get like a bit more organization here because I don't know where to put my YA books. I have no idea. I'm struggling really hard. It's horror. It's hell in here. Okay, because I don't know what to do, I'm gonna do something I do know how to do, and that is putting all my special editions up top. Yes. Yes! Yeah! Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Should I put any of them sideways? These are paper bags. This is gonna be difficult. Oh wow. Okay, wait. That looks intense. Um, I'm gonna stop now because I'm about to pass out. I'm so tired and my arms hurt. I'm sweating. I'm in pain. This is not fun. This is gruesome hard work. But there's so much more to do. I don't really know. I'm gonna continue this somehow, but not now. I'm gonna go make dinner. So see you tomorrow. Remember how I said I was gonna continue organizing tomorrow? That was a lie. We're gonna do it now at 11 p.m. at night. As you can tell, I did some things off screen. I know, illegal, I shouldn't have done that, but I was girl bossing and I couldn't stop. I also don't know where to put the YA since we have a lot more fantasy planner, but I'm just gonna continue and see <coughs> where my slaying is leading me. I also need to reorganize this because I have a lot more rom-coms and books I would consider hashtag women's fiction than I thought. Ugh, ow, my hands. If one more book falls over, I'm actually gonna scream. It makes me so mad. Oh my god. Why are thriller covers so fucking aggressive? I don't get it. I, should I add the thrillers from Wattpad to my thriller shelf or keep it in my Wattpad shelf? Wattpad. Wattpad, right? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I slay. Oh god. I'm gonna fall and die. Let's add these to my fantasy shelf. Oh, I should have gotten the books from us there. Dang it. My god, it's 6 or 3 and I've done nothing with that. <clears throat> I'm organizing, so you should, you should too. Be quiet. Never. Oh my god, move. Oh shit. Maybe actually I need to stand up. The fuck? Let's see from far away. I mean, it's not the prettiest thing, but it definitely works. I'm so tired. I'm literally falling asleep while doing this. This is not funny. We have <laughs> four of my YA books. How? How? What? How? Ow! My leg hurts just like my pot. So guys, we don't have any other space. <laughs> Where were my books the last time? Did I stack so many sideways? In pain. Oh man. As you can tell, I do not have enough space for YA. We're not going to talk about it. I'm going to put these over here somewhere. Then I have these three more for YA, which is not a fucking lot. God, this doesn't fit. Ah! You know what? Because now I'm thinking of reorganizing this entire thing. Hey, guys. No see. Long time no say. Long time no see. Anyways, we got a bit further. So here's what I decided now. We have fantasy over here, we have fantasy up here, and then we have YA, YA, YA. And as a border, we're gonna have here like Percy Jackson and like Greek inspired stories. Then we have thrillers, thrillers, and Olivia Blake. Olivia Blake, I mean. I'm now going to try to include the Wattpad books somehow. We have a bit of space left in the YA section, which means the Wattpad books that are worthy will go here. The bad boy and the tomboy, for example. So we're not having a pure Wattpad shelf, as you can tell, because I don't have time for that. Oh, yeah. It's my favorite Wattpad book ever. It's way too warm to do this stuff. I should probably take off my sweatshirt, sweatshirt, because then I wouldn't sweat this much, but I'm not going to. We are gonna organize my side shelf now because I'm done with my main shelf. These are, by the way, like sports romances here, and then books by the same author. Like, there's sports romances here, but also just by the same author. Sports romances, same author. You can't see me, but I'm currently going through books to see what I should put on the shelf and what I shouldn't. We have some Nikki Sloan going on here. Let's do this differently. I do not like this at all. Rival Radio. Sounds intense. Let me... Oh my god, this is like extreme hip-hop, I just said. Like, you can't beat me, and you can't beat me. It's just facts. Like, I know it makes you all jealous, but... Mm. I'm back, better than ever. Uh, thicker than a snicker. We're gonna be organizing my classics, which is only one shelf, because this is historical romances, obviously. Like, we're talking historical smut. It's fun, okay? This is really off topic, but also totally on topic. Um, You know how, like, I love the Shatter Me series, right? So I have a large, large collection of the Shatter Me books, and I always wanted to have a shrine for that series or for like Tehera Mafi, just one one shelf for itself especially because i'm getting like the fairy loot special editions for the shadowy series and i know there's gonna be all six at some point and it's still gonna take a while till they arrive but 
now my shelf is organized again and I'm like, oh god, I have to redo it yet again. Why? This is why do people organize their shelf? Honestly, like sometimes I wonder why I organize my shelf or why I just did this because whenever you get a new book, obviously the shelf is not going to work anymore because I fill my shelf so there isn't any space for new books like left. And then when you get a new book, you're like, I can't put it anywhere. Where the hell is it supposed to go? And then the shelf looks messy. So moral of the story is I think I need to go on a giant book buying ban for the next like seven years, especially because I need to save money for my vacation to the US that I hopefully can take. I don't know yet. Maybe, maybe not. We have no idea, but maybe I should be saving more money. I think I should for like my future. I don't really know. I don't know. Yeah. But I just wanted to say, I think I need to go on a book buying ban now because I like counted all my books and I'm I have too many I have too many and I think I need to be stopped and everything needs to be taken away from me I can't do it anymore even thrifting I thrift too much guys we're sitting on the floor right now at my bed because we're gonna organize these three shelves we're gonna get all of these books down here as we have like a lot going on here as you can tell I'm done with my big shelf I also double stacked the side here and then the other side's already done but we're gonna do this one now so I also did clean the dust down here, so that's absolutely disgusting. So let's just go. Okay, I got this. I'm so not scared of dust. Ugh. Ew, 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 ew. Ooh, ah. Ooh. I'm literally gonna puke. Okay, we got it. And we're gonna get these books out because these books don't belong down here. Ugh. Not stacked. Let's hope they don't fall. Ooh. Oh god, it's got dust into my eye. That's disgusting. I only have 4% left on my phone, but I finished! Let me show you real quickly everything. <laughs> Boom, big one, right? We have special editions. Fantasy, 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 or like dystopian and fantasies, all this. YA, Olivia Blake, Greek retellings, or like Greekish, Greek mythology. Authors that I have a lot of books of, um, like general fiction, women's fiction, contemporary like rom-com, rom-com, rom-coms. Sports romances, millionaire romances, rom-com, Christopher Becker Ritchie Shrine. This is like the mafia books I like a lot. And then this is just like published Wattpads. Other self-published books I really like. Classics. German classics and historical romances. College of high school romances. My second copies of the Darkverse series. Sports. Sports, 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 sports. And then one author. German books. More fantasy romance books ya and then in the back we have motorcycle stuff these are all double stacked too i don't even know what's back here books 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 and then there's books behind too slaytastic i think i did great girl boss gaslight gatekeep so yeah this is the end of my organizing bookshelf video i hope you enjoyed it i certainly am very happy now with the results I'm gonna film a bookshelf video very soon. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more of my content, you can subscribe. Yeah, have a great day, evening, morning, night, whatever time zone you're in. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Read a book. Read the A Curse of Dark and Lonely trilogy. Again, have a great day. Happy reading and see you next time. Bye.